All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be talking about push to talk versus voice activity, how to use each of them to the best ability, and when you probably should use each of them. So when we're talking about setting up your voice chat settings so that you can hear people and people can hear you talking, you're going to go into your user settings, which are in the lower left-hand corner of your Discord screen. It's next to your little profile picture. You'll click on the little gear that says user settings. This will bring up all of your different user settings and you wanna go down to the middle here to voice and video. Make sure that your input device is set to whatever microphone you're using and your output device is set up to whatever you're going to hear people with. Try to use a headset, it'll prevent things like echo. Now, for most people by default, you'll probably have it set up so that you have voice activity currently running. And by default, voice activity works pretty well if there's not a lot of background noise in your house slash office to set it off, and you don't find yourself like muttering or side commentating a lot, when that might piss people off. So for most people, voice activity works really well. If you find it's a little bit too sensitive, you can manually adjust that by turning off this toggle here, which allows you to manually set the gate when your microphone activates. In order to change this, you can sort of see in this little bar down here where my voice is, and you can kind of like stop talking for a moment and see where the sound is when you're not trying to say words. And then you can look where your voice tends to be when you're actually speaking and you can move it over here and then anything under this level of sound will not activate your microphone and people won't be able to hear you. It's very useful and I fully recommend fine tuning this if you find that the regular automatic setting is too sensitive. That said, I never had a lot of people that told me that the automatic settings didn't work pretty well for them and it's gotten better over time. Now, if there's a lot of noise in your house or you're talking to other people or you like to just kind of like yammer on to yourself and people find that annoying, push to talk is definitely the way to go for most people. I fully recommend using this over voice activity. It prevents a lot of headaches and annoyance between you and your friends and whoever else you're playing with on the internet. All you gotta do is click push to talk, select the button by clicking on this to hit whatever you wanna record, and then this will allow you to only have your voice heard when you press the button. And then the delay here is how many milliseconds Discord waits after you stop pressing the button before it deactivates your microphone. This way, only people can hear you when you're intending for them to hear you when you press your push to talk. And when you don't press your push to talk, they won't hear anything, even if you're screaming at your microphone. So that's kind of the gist and the difference between the push to talk and the voice activation. I think they're both relatively handy to use. I prefer push to talk these days. It just prevents a lot of hiccups and a lot of headaches, especially if there's other people around you. Um, some of these other settings, just in case you're curious, if you're not sure if your microphone is working because it's, it seems like people are either unable to hear you or ignoring you, you can click on this button right here and it'll actually let you hear like what is going into your microphone. It's a very handy tool. Go ahead and click on that to see if your mic is working. It can also tell you if your mic is breaking or dying or there's something wrong with it. Oftentimes you can just unplug it and plug it back in and that'll fix it. And then down here under the soundboard settings right here, if you're using the soundboard, which is relatively new on Discord and people are spamming it and you find it annoying, you can just pull this down to zero to mute it or change it however you want. It, it's really up to you. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the basic voice settings for Discord, push to talk, voice activation. I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.